Uh, celiac disease is actually an autoimmune condition and uh, this particular autoimmune condition is, is triggered and precipitated by an allergic response to gluten but it is associated with lots of other autoimmune conditions and it's very important not just to see the celiac disease, just the bowel element alone, because actually there's a whole range of autoimmune conditions that often go with this and they all need monitoring uh, and, and assessing. The vast majority of celiac patients aren't aware that they have celiac disease at all. They don't really have symptoms. It's often picked up maybe in a blood test that shows iron deficiency anemia, and then through a series of investigations, we find out that it's secondary to celiac disease. Uh, discomfort, bloating, altered bowel habits, sometimes uh, weight loss or inability to put weight on. And, and some people become very aware that they are sensitive to wheat-based products. And that, that's usually how we uh, get alerted to the condition. Sign up to Celiac UK. Uh, there are great apps on there, apps that allow uh, you to download uh, a scanner so that when you do go shopping, you can literally just scan the foods, the barcodes on the food, so it will tell you whether they're acceptable for a celiac patient, whether they're gluten-free. There are apps, commonly available apps, that will tell you all the restaurants in the local area that you can go to safely that can accommodate celiac patients. So there are ways to make things easier and also to let, limit the impact that this can have on people's um, social lives. So anyone who thinks they have celiac disease, it's a very easy condition to assess, uh, initially through blood tests uh, alone. Some patients, we like to confirm that with a, a biopsy of the small bowel, yeah, especially if you're going to adapt, uh, adapt to a lifelong change in your diet. And if the celiac disease is left unchecked, if it's poorly controlled over a 10-year period, there's a 20% chance of also developing some of these other autoimmune conditions like diabetes, thyroid problems, adrenal issues.